What's up guys, I'm here with Coach Wine and today we're gonna show you guys how to do a chest workout from home to get a stronger, leaner, and bigger chest. The only thing you're gonna need is your body, your and body. a band, and a band, and a band. All right, let's get started. So what we're gonna start out with is an ISO, okay? So an ISO stands for an isometric. Basically, we're gonna be contracting our pecs together. So how we're gonna do that is a pec squeeze. It's very simple, okay? It's gonna be a duration of time. You're gonna take one hand. If you guys can look closely to this, you'll see where I cup the hands. So I'm not gonna press here, I'm gonna go here, okay? Then as I squeeze together, squeeze, I'm gonna drop the elbows down. So squeeze, drop down. That's where I'm gonna get the most contraction and I'm gonna continue to squeeze right there. Okay, so our first thing is gonna be three sets of 30 seconds. So three sets of 30 second hold. Now squeeze as hard as you can every set. So after I go 30 seconds, I rest 15. Then I'm gonna do another 30 seconds. Rest 15, another 30 seconds, then we'll move on to the next exercise. All right, so here we go. 30 seconds long, so remember, get that, get that grip. So right here, okay, form. Ready, so start squeezing and then collapse the elbows, go, and squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So this one's gonna be a little tougher to talk, but you're trying to really contract. So I'll, if you can notice, I'm shaking, because you're really trying, that's, that's the max contraction. I'm squeezing, squeezing. So 15 seconds, keep going. Keep those elbows dropped, don't let them elevate up. Keep them dropped, squeeze, squeeze. Keep going. Let's go, let's go, five seconds. Contract, push, 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 push. Time, relax. Okay, now we're gonna take the timer, let it roll, 15 seconds. So we're gonna do that three times, then we'll move on. All right, so we're on exercise two. So what we're gonna be doing is a big movement. It's gonna be our compound movement, multi-joint, but obviously body weight. So we don't have bench, we don't have a bar, we don't have dumbbells, no problem. Okay, we're going body weight, we're doing push-ups. This time we're gonna do tempo push-ups. So what a tempo means is we focus on the eccentric, motion and the isometric. So we're gonna go slow down for four, hold two, push up one. So slow down, four, hold two, push up one. We're gonna do three sets. We're gonna rest 45 to 90 seconds in between each set. Again, we're doing 10 and our rep count is gonna be 10 to 15. So basically, if you only get eight and you can't go any further, shake it out, finish two more. Okay, or if you get to 15, you're at that max rep, fine. If you can do two more than that, do two more. Don't stop short, all right? So let's go ahead and get started. So here we go. We're gonna start out push-up position, core tight. Remember when we do push-ups, you don't wanna drop your hips. Your, your actually, your stomach and hips should never touch. Should be all chest. So one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, and up. Now when you get to the bottom, don't, don't disengage. You need to stay engaged the whole time. So I'm still contracting up. So I'm really not laying down on the ground. That's three. Last one. Good. Now, go ahead and hit that timer again. 45 to 90 seconds. Start set two. Again, 10 to 15 reps, right? We gotta get in that range. You're going to fail. Push yourself to fail. It gotta be intense. You're gonna go three rounds, then we'll move on to the next big movement. All right, exercise three. We're doing what's called a radar push-up. Think about radar. You gotta fly low, okay? It's the same concept. But what I want you guys to focus on is basically slow, controlled, and staying at the same height. So we're not going up and down at all. We're staying down, contracting the pec, squeeze, slide, back and forth. So the movement, will look like this. You're gonna have a wider than normal. Halfway down, one side to the next side, and back and forth. Now, you're gonna go 16 to 24 repetitions. It's slow, okay? Take your time, side to side. 16 to 24 reps. 16 to 24 means basically you're going to that fail point again. If you get to 24, good job. If you get to 16, good. Go to your limit, go to fail, okay? Then we're gonna go three sets, so three rounds, every rest time between sets, between rounds, 45 to 90 seconds, okay? 45 to 90. So let's go ahead and get started on set one. So here we go, get those hands out. Halfway. One, two, three, four. Do 
23, 24, back to the middle, pop up, perfect. Clock it, 45 to 90 seconds. Now, if you notice, my hands slightly turn out. That's just part of it. If you can't go here, that's fine, but the slight turn makes it a little bit easier on the shoulder joint. Okay, so again, radar push-ups, three sets, 16 to 24 reps, uh, 45, 90 second rest time in between each set. You got three of them, all right? Good work. All right, so we're on exercise four. This is our last one. We're doing a super set. So we're gonna do staggered push-ups, eight to 12. So again, going to that fail point. Then we're gonna do a band fly. So this is the only thing that you're gonna need something. We recommend that you use a band fly if for whatever reason you don't have a band do some form of an isometric where you're basically contracting and holding. So maybe halfway down on a push-up, maybe you do a squeeze again. Um, but again, if you have the band, what we recommend is that you use the band, all right? And for the band, you're gonna do 25 plus reps. So it's a burnout. So basically, as soon as I hit my staggers, which I'll show you guys, we're gonna basically be doing push-up jumps. And as we explode and extend, we switch our hands, right? One, two, and it'll be fast. We're gonna go eight to 12. We're gonna hop up, hit our burnout on that band fly for 25 plus reps. So you're gonna come out fast. It's nice and, it's a controlled fast. So here, squeeze, 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 all right, for 25, all right? So we're going to super set, three sets. Every time we rest, it's 45 seconds in between uh, after we finish both movements. Then you rest 45, do it again, three rounds. All right, let's get started. Stagger push-ups, so again, pretend like there's a line drawn. One hand is over, one's under. Hit the chest, explode, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Twelve reps, hop up immediately. Grab that band. All you really need is for something to be connected. So you could have this around any pole, it doesn't really matter. Alright? We want to get those hands all of a sudden here. Step out as tension for need. Keep going. Twenty. Get that stretch too. But keep a slight elbow bend, not straight out, because you're going a little bit faster. That's about thirty. Keep going. Come on. Uh, we'll stop at 40. So again, burnout. Now rest 45, and we're gonna repeat it again. All right, guys. So 20 to 30 minutes is about all it should take you. Now, as you guys get more advanced, it's gonna take you less time. So feel free to take the liberty to add a set or two. So if you want to add a, to make it four sets on some of the bigger ones, like the tempo push-ups or the or the radar push-ups, go ahead. Okay. Now, for this to really be effective, you can't just do this once. And you can't do this at a low intensity. You gotta take it, you gotta be serious, you gotta take it ser or you gotta take it seriously. But I want you guys focusing on basically doing it twice a week. Okay, that's really where we're at. We're not quite, we don't need to do it four times a week. You can maybe do it up to three just because it is mainly body weight, so it's calisthenic, and that's fine too. But again, at least two times a week if you really want the results. Alright guys, if you uh, like that video, then go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and we're going to give you guys some more home workouts to get big. Yeah, stay tuned. we got more to come. Alright guys.